Hi everyone, Wally Nichols with the Asset Guidance Group weekly update for the week ending September the 24th, 2021. Hey, interesting week, man. We started off with uh, some scary days on Monday, uh, some scary news. People didn't know about Evergrande in China, whether or not it was going to affect globally. Came to conclusion very quickly within about 48 hours that it was going to be a localized thing and impacting only China primarily. And so by Wednesday, uh, the while it, it, in all fairness, uh, well, the markets picked back up to finish my sentence. But in all fairness, uh, uh, the Fed Chair uh, Powell, Jay Powell, uh, came on and gave everybody a, a decent uh, Fed report uh, from the two-day uh, FOMC. And so, uh, what he actually said was uh, recognizing inflation, even even laid some hints that perhaps it was going to be. Uh, not so transitory as what they earlier believed, and uh, and that they were nonetheless taking steps to uh, begin the tapering sooner rather than later, probably this year, the end of this year, and also uh, that rate hikes are uh, in the near future. So the markets actually viewed all of that as good news, saying that even though inf inflation is going to be transitory, the Fed believes that we're strong enough as the economy is strong enough. To, uh, to allow them to go ahead and make the adjustments they need to make to stop being quite so accommodative and, uh, and to move on. So all this uh, was, was perceived as, uh, received as good news uh, as well it should be and so the indexes uh, have, have recovered uh, throughout the week and uh, are all up to flat on a daily basis as we speak right now. This is midday on, uh, on Friday, September the 24th, 2021, and uh, on a weekly basis, uh, everything, all the major indexes looking very positive, uh, mostly uh, sitting on 50-day uh, 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 moving averages, uh, a few of them, and, and, and reaching for uh, the next near-term moving average uh, going forward. And uh, the best news of the week, in my view, was the 10-year. And the 10-year banged back up through the 140s, ended up at 145 at one point this morning uh, on a yield. And that is uh, very indicative of a beginning of asset shifts. Uh, so, so, so shifting from, from fear-based instruments back into risk on uh, type of investing. And that, all of that against the backdrop of what we experienced early in the week and against uh, Chairman Powell's uh, address on Wednesday makes everybody look, you know, fairly, fairly well that, that, that things are stronger than what we might have anticipated uh, or thought last week. Now, having said that, we're not yet into earnings seasons yet for this last quarter. It's just beginning, but uh, the, the bottlenecks, etc., could well translate into, into earnings uh, uh, situations. So, you know, we might, we might not yet, uh, it's not like we're we're, we're running back up to the, to the new highs immediately, but uh, we might have some headwinds uh, to go through in earnings. But all said and done, very strong reports, very good news all the way around. I see a glimmer of hope out there for the long term, uh, even despite some of the uh, bad news that we have. And we looked at maps. We looked at maps uh, for sure. Shipping uh, containers from all around the, the, the world, uh, they're really bottlenecked at... Um, the Port of LA and they're at Savannah, Georgia. We read Wall Street Journal articles that talked about the record number of ships that are held anchored outside the port because they can't get in. And yet, in spite of that, the record number of containers and boxes that they're processing within these uh, ports. So, same thing in China, same type of news in China, at least the, the shipping locations in China. We don't know what the the actual news is if it compares with the Wall Street Journal article or not. But uh, best thing is that we uh, I saw an, an Israeli article in the Haaretz uh, that discussed the robustness of the Pfizer booster, and and and, and very clearly the data set forth in uh, the in Israel that the the people with the third booster shot were at the lowest level of any kind of severe illness or serious illness. There was um, a, a slight uptick on those that had only had the two shots, which was uh, the standard regimen, uh, as compared to those who had not had any shots that were totally unvaccinated. That's where the tremendous three, three out of four deaths or more were, were occurring. 
and a tremendous number of severe illness and, uh, and, and long haul type COVID. So check those articles out if you get a chance and uh, otherwise uh, look forward to uh, having another good week. Told you we were bullish last week. On, on, on a, on a long-term basis, uh, the midterm, the, the, the mid to long-term basis, all the equities uh, technically look very well. Fundamentals is what we always base our trades on first, but we've got those under control. We're not investing in anybody that's not fundamentally sound in the first place. So it's going to be a great week. We start our new classes uh, next week, as, as you've seen on our website and as I've discussed here previously. In the meantime, if we can help you address all of these risks that are, that are facing us, tax rate risk, this is, the, this is the thing that we're going to be looking for next week as we get into this budget crisis and this political debate over whether or not we're going to default on, 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 our, on our national debt. That's going to be a catalyst for, for destruction of the markets next week. If we had headwinds next week, it's going to be around that, that issue. That'll be the next big excuse for the sell-off. But um, we got tax rate risk coming. We've got inflation risk. You've got uh, sequence of returns risk that we're just seeing this month raise their ugly heads as big as ever. If you need to conquer those risks, don't be afraid to reach out and touch base with us. We know exactly how to do that. We'll make a change in your life. All right, until next time, this is Wally saying stay happy.